Generic greetings and welcome to Fights in Tight Spaces Prologue. Today's beverage is a nice and refreshing lemon and lime cordial. Very tasty indeed. So Fights in Tight Spaces is a deck building turn based tactics game about you being put in a tight space and having to fight your way out of it. It sort of clues in the title really for this one. Either way, this is the free demo slash prologue. As always, links in the description so you can check it out yourself. The full game is due out early 21, so we'll see if that holds up. Either way, I've played a little bit of this game and I wanted to show you uh, some of it because it is quite interesting and quite enjoyable. It is the bit I have played are anyway. So new game and we'll just load in. There will be a story with it, but basically for this we are really just concerned with the mechanics of it so we have training and then we have the death's head biker gang i don't know if you've got all of these available in the prologue it would be quite good if you have either way we're just going to do a little bit of the first one here so this is the death's head biker gang a network of clandestine clubhouses throughout northern europe and thousands of members the death's head biker gang have a built-in infrastructure for drug and weapon trafficking across borders and limited scruples when it comes to arming terrorists the world over. So let's do that one there. After the biker gang wars of the 90s, we thought we'd seen the last of the Nordic gangs, but they're back with a network of so-called clubhouses across Scandinavia. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let's get into it. So we are... Well, a mix between Batman, Hitman, and other mercenaries are available. And this is where we get into the sort of roguelike elements of it. So we can select where we need to go. We've done our briefing, and we have to go to the restroom. This is all dynamically or randomly generated as you uh, load into the different maps and such. So it'll be different every time. However, there is a couple of things that will stay... Uh, the same. So we start with 40 health out of 40. If that goes to zero, we die. We have 50 generic units of currency, although I'm not too sure what we spend that on. I'm guessing later on down here we may be able to buy things, but I shall see. Actually, I know, I know in the medical you can uh, use that to buy things. We have an enhancement, which is currently emergency move. Gain an emergency move card at the start of each fight. And the current target is pretty much at the far end. So that's where we have to get. And let's go ahead and view our deck. So your deck is comprised of several cards. If I wanted to use quite a, a trite um, analogy and or com uh, sort of um, comparison, I would say this is a mix of Slay the Spire and Into the Breach. I think if you mix those two together, this is reasonably what you could sort of expect to come out with. Although I tend to avoid using uh, direct comparisons. Anyway, so each of these cards has a cost, which is shown on the top right, and this is like a momentum cost. You have three in total each turn. So some of them are zero, some of them are ones. You will get other ones which are higher. They have a range, so it could just be... Uh, well, it could have no range at all, which is just like a buff for yourself, like a block there. Or it could have a range of just, say, like one. So it's between one and one. This one is between two and two. You also get ones that are ranged like between two and two, so only longer ranged. You have other things like how much damage it does. So it could say this one's eight damage. That one's none, but pushes it one space. When you mouse over it, it tells you what it does. So it's fairly readable there. Either way, let's go to the restroom here and do a bit of a fight. Uh, it does show on the right the sort of things you'll experience but um well i've already jumped in so i'll show you that uh, later on so we get uh, dropped down here and the look of it reminds me very much of the casino royale intro uh, for the, some reason the uh the the way that it looks i uh, quite like that anyway uh we have as i said three of these i think they're called momentum but they could you could call them actions or whatever you would like to call it um and we obviously have to take out these enemies now you can mouse over the enemies and it'll tell you what they are so this is a biker and it also shows you what they're going to do so they're going to push us which is kick up to two tiles away and does five damage in one push and it says will attack this turn if they have above their above their uh, above their avatar if they have a red square with a white fist in it that means they are going to attack you can hold alt at any time to show you more info there and there we are so we know that this one on the left is going to attack the one on the right is going to attack and we're the guy in the black suit in the center there um so yeah we have a total number of health equal to 40 the enemies have 20 and 20 and the order of attack is shown just to the left of what their attack value is so one and then two so this guy's going to attack first followed by this guy so we just want to sort of get out of the way we don't want to be uh, you know doing any of this uh, any of this so i'm going to probably just slip across and over to there because why not and then i'm going to do a maybe a quick strike to punch that guy in the ear and then i'm going to do a 
Mm, I could do a step or a long strike. I'll do a long strike because why not? And there you go, and we've attacked them. And we do have another point available, so I'm actually going to spend that to go dash towards this fella. And then I will press enter and then end the turn. So they're going to do, uh, if their attack is no longer going to work or they've got nothing to attack, they won't. However, if, for example, we moved one into the other, well, I'll show you what I mean. Um, I'm going to do a... Hmm, that's a bit of a shame. I was going to do a shift uh, to move so I can... Oh, actually, yeah, I can shift and go behind that guy there. And then I can do a push, which will... Actually, what I'll do is I'll do a quick kick because it'll actually cause some damage to him like that. I like the way that because we're facing the other way, he does a kick back like that. I do like the animations on them. That's good. So he's been pushed to there. And I'm going to then probably go and... I think that's probably me done. I could do Hammer Fist, which will kill him, but I just wanted to end the turn, and you can see that basically, yeah, that guy's going to get taken out by his friend. And then someone else will land, because this is three enemies in total. It's shown on the top right. Defeat the enemies, one of three, and complete the level within four turns. So hopefully we can do that. Uh, these guys, one of them is attacking this one here, so I'm going to probably... He's only going to do five damage. So I'm going to... What can I do? I could do counter, which is add 8 block and strike, deal 10 damage to incoming attackers. I could do something like that. Uh, we also have this one called a combo finisher, which is deal 8 damage plus 2 times the combo damage up to 2 tiles away. However, it requires 3 momentum, which is this here. I think that's momentum. Yeah. Oh, this... I can't remember what the exact terms are. There's actions and then this thing. Either way, we need three of those and we can't do that, sadly. So you get that by constantly doing moving and attacking stuff. I'm going to slip up to here just to get a little bit closer. I will then counter and then I think that'll be me. I'll just end my turn and what will happen is he'll kick me and do no damage. And sadly, I didn't do any back to him, I think, because I was out of range. Anyway, I need to get to is that guy attacking that guy is not attacking so i just need to deal with this guy so i could do a quick strike no that's within one a kick which is deal six damage in one push or advance and deal six damage in one push but that's still going to push me further away there um Sadly, if I did emergency move, you move up to two tiles. You don't go. You don't go diagonal with that one. Same as with this dash, you don't go diagonal. So I want to be able to push this guy, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think it's just going to be a case of do a sort of fist strike there, and then a front kick to that guy there, and then he's now still going to attack me. Um, so I will simply dash out of the way to there and that'll do the job quite nicely. We've got two turns in order to finish this guy off and both of those are attacking me the same way. I could do a long strike. Oh, I've got a wall bash there as well. Slam target into adjacent wall or edge deals 12 damage plus 1 damage per combo count. That's combo count, yeah. So it's momentum and combo count. Um... I guess it's just going to have to be a long strike, like that, and he's got 5 health remaining. I could just slip to there and then do a wall bash and, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's a bit naughty. And then we will end the turn. That guy's obviously not going to attack. I now have one turn to finish uh, dealing with this fella. Can I do that? I probably cannot. I'll step towards him. I'll do a quick attack there, which he doesn't push him any further back. I'll do a counter, because then he'll do 10 damage to himself, and then a quick block as well, because I can. And yeah, he's going to push us there. So I'm not going to get the optional, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, yeah, we are going to just finish this guy off. It shouldn't be a problem. So I'll shift there. I'll do a counter, and I'll do... That's it. And then, yeah, because I'm getting pushed back, I'm not doing the counter, which is a shame. So long strike... There you go. It's not going to really matter what order we do this now. Go forward and then a quick strike. And then there we go. That is that one done. So defeat the enemies. We gain a new card. However, if I'd completed the level within six turns, we'd gain 30 generic units of currency. It matters not. So we have dodge. Move one tile in any direction. Force enemies who are previously targeting the player to attack immediately. Uh, don't fancy that. Shove. 
push the target one tile left or right there, current position, or quick kick. I'm going to go for the shove. So we either go for the alleyway or to the tattoo studio. On the right, it shows you the mission data. So it shows the amount of targets, the rewards, and what happens. So that is weakened targets. So the alleyway is quite, it's a little bit longer. But I'm going to go to the studio because it then allows us to go to the alley or the other place anywhere. So there we are landed in and we now have a new type of enemy this fella which is a goon a bike a thug armed with a tire iron tire iron to strike for six damage and add injury card to the target okay um what can we do here ideally i'd want to try and move them move past the target where could i move i can move back up uh 18 health and 20 health. What I'm going to do is start working on the goon. So I'm going to go for a quick strike, like that. And because we're facing the wrong way, I like the way it just sort of backhands in there. Yeah, interesting. Um, front kick I could do. And, oh, that's taken them out. I did enough damage to kill him. Interesting. Uh, I will do shift to... I won't do any. I'll just do block because, well, he's going to attack me and I've got enough block to take that on we've got another guy dropped down here thug so we've got two we've got two well we've got thug and a biker so obviously they're doing the same sort of attacks there that guy's not actually doing any attacks so can i can i do much quick kick and a push step won't do anything hmm i've got counter though but again, counter won't really work because of I just get pushed out of the way. But at least it gives us eight block. I think realistically, you just step towards him. Quick kick. Why not? And Ah, that was not what I wanted to do. Uh Shove, yeah. Shove him. Oh, you can push him on top, can you? Uh, I think I'll just put him over there. And then could activate counter. I think it will activate counter. I think it gets you those points. Oh, we're not off. we've got a finisher now. Oh, right. Yeah, that that, <laughs> that worked, didn't it? Um, right. Fine. <laughs> we'll just continue on. That's taken that guy out. Uh, pretty well. We got a slip and a long strike. And I'll slip to there, and then a long strike. Even though the next to us doesn't really matter. Then end the turn, and obviously they're not going to attack. And we're going to get some more enemies eventually. Oh, because I'm standing there, that's where an enemy's going to drop down. If I rotate the camera with Q&E, that's where they're going to land. I'm delaying their, I'm delaying their um, activation. Can I do a wall bash on that fella? No, I can't because he's not uh, near a wall. Uh, I can't really shift him. I'm going to do a quick strike like that. And combo finish it. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, him taken out. And... That'll do that quite nicely. Obviously, later in later levels, you probably want to be a lot more efficient in your attacks, but with the way we're working here, it's not really a big problem. So I'm going to slip over to there. We'll do a long strike like that. And that's pretty much it. We've got one more turn to deal with this guy. He's got 19 health. I don't think I'm going to be able to deal with him. No. I can hammer fist. Quick kick. And I don't particularly want to take any more damage. So I'll put him over there. And block. Because why not? And then once again we're not going to do that one. It's a bit more efficient. You'd probably be uh, a bit better. But there you are. There is that completed. And a new card. Wall bash counter or jolt. Increase combo level by two. That's a pretty good card. But I think we'll go for... I think we'll go for counter, actually. So we've got an alleyway and a bar. This time we're going to go for the... It doesn't really matter because either way allows us to go to either gym or medical. We've taken no damage so far. So we might as well go into the bar here. And, oh, we have someone else now. So this person... Uh, this is the ambassador. A British ambassador will not take damage from the player attacks, is otherwise highly vulnerable. He's heavy and can't be downed. 
Um, we have to defeat the enemies, protect the ambassador, and complete within six turns. I don't know if the first one is just the like one we need to do, but there you are. Anyway, you can see that we've now got another type of goon. I'm going to rotate the camera a bit. And we've got this pistol thug. A normal thug uh, has come armed. And they are... Are they actually attacking? I don't think they're attacking. It doesn't state that they're attacking. No, it doesn't. So I want to probably... I don't know what I want. I think I just want to deal with this guy. So what can I do? I've got a long strike and I've got a push. I don't think that really either of those will really help at this stage. Um, I guess just... Um, I guess just step to there. Uh, we'll do a long strike like that. And then... Ah, he actually pushes me. Interesting. Why is that? Ah, oh, security. Right, they're bar security. Yes, auto attack will attack once per turn. Right, fair enough. Um, I'll just step out of the way then because I don't want to be attacked off that one. I thought it was a slightly different thug actually, but uh, there you go. So in that, they're going to obviously start running towards uh, different targets and we once again only have one person attacking. So they're not attacking the ambassador, it just us. So yeah, we'll attack this turn because they're on overwatch. We'll auto attack once per turn. So I need to, some way, I need to basically take that guy out with add some block. If I do that, will he not attack back? Yeah, he can't attack because it's long range, right, and I'll do hammer fist as well. And keep that long range. Yep, that's fine. And we'll do that. Not spend any cards, don't need to. And it looks like they are, ah, now I'm getting attacked from the pistol thug. Okay. I thought that might happen eventually. Okay. I want to get there behind him. And I want to shove him to there. Oh, why can't I do that? Oh, shove is push it to the left or the right. Uh, but that one will do. So I've kicked him back. And then because he's now in the... Uh, because he's in front of this guy, he's then going to get attacked off him and oh dear the security guy's been shot by the guy with the gun um it looks now to be a little bit more problematic because the ambassador's getting attacked so i need to deal with that as best i can i can probably shove him out of the way and the ambassador may just may just have to take a hit which i don't particularly mind um, I'll dash forward. I'll shove that guy there. So he's going to shoot his mate in the back of the head. And then I can't use wall bash and I can't use the finisher. But I'll put block on and... I could use emergency move but it's removed on play so I'm not going to do that. So the ambassador's been hit. Then the guy's been shot. So yeah, all kinds of bad stuff's going on here. 20 health, he's got 15, he's got 18. They're all attacking. But I need to make sure they can attack. I want to, want, to, I want to get them so they can attack themselves. Um, I've got a slip ability. And I've got nothing to push people. I guess I'll... I guess I'll probably shift to there. Hammer fist. Like that. And they're not going to do anything anywhere. Uh, yeah, leave that. That's a problem. Oh, that guy's not attacking either, is that? So it's just him I have to deal with. So I can do a front kick. Uh, how much damage has he got? He's got 11 health. I can do... Huh. 8. Oh, I can do a quick kick. A quick punch. And then a quick kick. And there's him taken out. Good. And I will step there. Because I don't want the ambassador to take any more damage. Mm. Actually, to be fair, we probably should have let the ambassador take the damage because he doesn't heal automatically, whereas we do. Alright, um, probably... 
push the enemy at one tile. Probably can't do that. Don't, oh, can I take that out of 20 health? This is the way I can deal with that guy. I can do... If I slip forward, I can do 8. No, I don't think so. Don't really know what I can do here. To protect the ambassador from getting shot. Because it's 10 damage. So a front kick would be 6 damage and push him. But pushing that guy at this stage is not a problem. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to slip to there. I'm going to push the ambassador out of the way. And that'll be it. That'll just be it. So they're obviously they're going to get into a position to then attack me. Right, that's actually not as bad as I thought. I've got a combo finisher. I can do 14 damage to him. I quick kick him. Move there. Quick kick, which pushes him back. And then a combo finisher. Which <laughs> power fist him through a wall. And, uh, yeah, why not? Put a bit of block on. Right, that should be that turn. And I think there's just this enemy to, to deal with. I can't do a wall bash because he's not near a wall. Oh, they've got no... God, oh, yeah, we could do that, but we've got no combo. Um, shove to move him about. I mean, I could counter him. I just don't want to be in the way. I don't... Uh, actually, I could. Could I... I'll shove him further back. Oh, no. I'll shove him there, so I'm not going to get attacked. I'll step to there, and then I can do a wall bash, because even though it's not a wall, there is a surface there. And, um, yeah. Ah, oh, but he's turned around. Uh, I guess I'll have to block. Oh, but that should be enough to block him. And because he's in range, yeah, there we go. So, protect the ambassador. Um, minus 15 health. That's done, though. Uh, we've got another card. Panic dash, discard number of cards, Joel, decrease combo level, and slip. I think slip. So we could go to medical, but we've gained health because of that uh, that mission. So we're going to try the gym. Um, this is where we can buy cards. So we've got long strike, front kick, and dash. I think upgrade cards. I'm going to upgrade our... Front kick to do more damage. I think that's reasonable. I think that's reasonable. And yeah, that'll be that'll be that done. So then we would then go to the bar. Should we try that once? We'll try the last one more fight. And then you've got an event after that, so we'll probably check that one out. Bar is pretty much the same layout. I don't know if the layouts themselves are randomly generated as well. Perhaps not. But we now have another type of enemy. So we've got the guard with the gun, uh, the pistol thug. We've got Two thugs, a pistol thug, and we've got this welder. So charge. Charge up to three tiles, deals ten damage, and block. Gains eight block at the start of each turn. So basically, I do not want to be where I am at the moment. So what is the best thing for me to do? Well, I'm going to do a... I think it's fairly obvious that I just need to let these guys attack each other and do as much damage to him as I can. So I'm going to do a quick kick which is going to push him to there I'm going to then do a front kick which is going to kick him even more and get me out of the way and then I will do a do I need to do a shove or can I do a wall bash I'll just do a wall bash on him I told you take him out and uh, there's an enemy taken out in one sitting and then I will end the turn and then the welder guy charges forward he then gets shot in the face and um yeah, that's actually been a really, really good turn. And sadly, that guy's, I think, just glitched out there, which is uh, interesting. Can I just spin it around? Oh, yeah, he's all, he's piled across that thing there. All right, so we are, once again, getting attacked by the welder and then this fella. I want to push the enemy one tile. That will just push them away, so that's not going to help me. Block won't help me. A quick strike will not help against him because he has eight blocks, so it won't do anything. Um, slip may help me because I can go to, hmm, this is a problem, he's going to charge, oh no he won't charge because as soon as I'm out of that, 
attack there. There's no one in front of him to, to do that. So I'm just going to push him over there. And he'll attack the other fella. Yeah, that should be fine, I think. Uh, and I'll just do a little cheeky quick strike against him because... Oh, no, I'm not... Uh, I'm not in range. I should have actually attacked him before the move, but there you are. It matters not too much. And there's all of the shots, and yeah. <laughs> See, he attacked because he went in front, but he wasn't going to attack previously. Hmm. I don't know if that was right. Either way, uh, we are now getting attacked once again. So, we've got the welder, and I guess... Can I just do double counter? Can I get double strike on myself? There's only one way to find out. Let's see what happens. Yeah, double strike. So it did actually attack him twice. Right. This is... a bit of a problem. So I've got slip, slip, and slip. <laughs> to move pretty much everywhere. Um... There's no point in moving around. I can do some damage, I guess. Slip to there. Hammer fist. Like that. And I'm going to dash down to here. And slip over there. I'm just trying to get more... I'm just trying to get close to this pistol guy. Uh, but he's moved back over. Ten. Can I take him out with ten? I can not take him out with 10. Is the way I can get him to attack other people? Probably not. I can do it. No, I can. I can take him out. I can move. I can, I can take him out. So I can shift to there, do a quick strike like that. And then do a quick kick. To be fair, though, it was probably best keeping him alive because that would then mean if I can get him, you know, to shoot this fella. Because my damage is not that much compared to his uh, his block, which is the main problem here. Anyway, we've got him charging in. We've got a shove. Push someone to the left or right of the target. That's actually all right. Have we got a move of two? We only have a move of one. I've got a wall bash, so I can definitely take this guy out, but... Quite frankly, I think the best thing to do is just go counter and counter and leave it there. So there is the retaliation there and <laughs> there's him taken out. So we've lost a little bit of health, but it really matters not considering what we've done there. Um, I'm going to probably do a front kick to get him out of the way. It's not going to actually do any damage, I don't think. Yeah, because of his... Oh, no, it did 9 damage, so it's going to do one point of damage. Uh, we have this combo finish, which is 22 damage, so we'll do that, and there he goes. Okay, so we <laughs> we absolutely uh, hammered that guy into the pavement there, and we've gained 60 generic units of currency because of that there, and select reward, so the reward is uh, a hook kick, deal 8 damage, gain 2 momentum next turn, that's pretty good. Heavy strike, 14 damage to the target up to 2 away in advance, and separate, push 2 enemies, one tile in opposite directions and deal four damage. I'm going to go with heavy strike. We now have the uh, powder room or an event. We're going to do an event and it says you find the location of the gang's safe house but it's been abandoned. Search for useful leads. So search for the safe house. 66% chance to gain uh, enhancement. 33% chance to gain a long term injury or ignore it. I'm going to say search the safe house and you find no leads but gang has left behind something you can use. Gain enhancement deep pockets which is gain extra 15% on currency rewards and it shows you on the enhancement there so we next have to go to the gym or to the uh medical gym or to the restroom um if that, well, the fact that it doesn't tell you exactly what the medical or the gym does my, my mousing over it is a bit problematic but not a not a huge one i guess um i could go for upgrade cards and i want to upgrade what do i want to upgrade probably i would like to upgrade push or something counter would be all right 15 block and 12 yeah we'll do that and uh yeah that will do us quite nicely so we then have another event or well we actually have another event and then parking we'll do the other event and we'll call it there you're on a stakeout but nothing is happening and you've run out of snacks surely you have time to run out and grab some so go for snacks it'll only take a second gain health lose currency or wait the job uh, lose health and gain currency i'll wait so we gain 50 but only lose two health i think that's uh, worth it 
and then the next one would be parking. After that, as I said, you'll be working up towards the final bar and then take that out and then obviously you've done that and then you'll be picking uh, different runs. But that is a bit of uh, fights in really, really small spaces. Uh, <laughs> it uh, is what it is and overall I'm... I'm very excited for the full game, actually. I actually don't know how much I'm going to play of the prologue because, as I said at the start, this is sort of a mix between Into the Breach and Slay the Spire, and I really, really like both of those games, and this has got that, like, sort of John Wicky feel to it. So all that mixed together means I don't really want to spoil the full game. This has whet my appetite enough to go, yeah, this is probably something I want to check out when it is released, although I may not be able to resist and I probably will end up playing a little bit more of this so overall um, it's free download it you can try it yourself I think it's there's a couple of things that don't seem to be overly readable that might just be my limited experience with the game or it could be that it's the prologue etc um, overall though very excited for the full game so we'll see what happens when that comes out like I say early I think it's early 21 it is billed for but with as things are you never really know either way links in the description so you can check the prologue out yourself and i will probably be checking out the full game when it does drop overall looking forward to it so yeah pretty good indeed either way i hope you have enjoyed this video thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings